Dear students, now we are going to solve one problem in two-dimensional discrete cosine transform. Compute DCT for the given 2 cross 2 image data. So here the 2 cross 2 image data as 2644. Correct? So we are going to find out the forward discrete cosine transform for this given image data. So here DCT can be obtained by using two methods. One is formula method the next one is kernel method so in this video we are going to solve using formula as well as kernel method so first we are going to use 2d dct formula method so here this is the formula so in the solution part first we need to write that formula of this dct so here the transform domain can be represented as c of u comma v so u and v are the transform domain coefficients Okay, that is equal to alpha of u, alpha of v, summation x is equal to 0 to n minus 1, summation y is equal to 0 to n minus 1, f of x comma y into cos of 2x plus 1 u pi by 2n, cos of 2y plus 1 v pi by 2n. So, this is the formula, it is very important. So, here this alpha of u and alpha of v is nothing but square root of 1 by n when u is equal to 0, v is equal to 0. So, its value is square root of 2 by n when u, v values are from 1 to n minus 1. Okay. So, here this f of x comma y represents the given matrix value that is what that image data. Okay. Here x, y represents the number of rows and columns. Okay. So, here capital N represents the image size. So, here 2 by 2 image means n value is equal to 2. Do you all understand this one? We are going to find out the DCT coefficients for this image data using this formula. In the given data, we can take this capital N is equal to 0 and the image values as f of 0, 0 that is the first position value that is 2 and f of 0, 1 the position of that particular pixel value. Correct? This is what the position 0, 0, 0, 1. Here it is 1, 0. This is what 1, 1. Okay? So, likewise, we are going to find out the DCT value C of u, v is equal to C of 0, 0, C of 0, 1, C of 1, 0 and C of 1, 1. So, we are going to find out this four values. Okay. So, first we are going to find out C of 0, 0. That means here this u value is equal to 0, v is equal to 0. We are going to substitute this values in the given formula. So, C of 0, 0 is equal to here alpha of u that's what the formula right u is equal to 0 here alpha of v here v is equal to 0 summation x is equal to 0 to n minus 1 here n is 2 so 2 minus 1 1 so similarly summation y is equal to 0 to n minus 1 here 2 minus 1 1 so next we can take this value f of x comma y cos here 2x plus 1 u into pi correct so u value is 0 here in this one so, divided by 2n. So, n means 2. So, 2 into 2, 4. Multiplied with cos of 2y plus 1. Here it is v into pi. That is the formula. So, v value is also 0. So, this term becomes 0 divided by 2n. Here 2n value is 4. You will understand this one. So, finally we can get this value is 0. Correct? Cos 2x plus 1 into 0 means the whole term becomes 0. Cos 0 is 1. Do you all understand this one? So, cos 0 value is 1. Similarly, here... 2y plus 1 into 0 na the whole term becomes 0 cos 0 value is 1. So finally inside this summation we can get only f of x comma y not the cos values because this values are 1. So next we are going to expand the summation. So first we are going to expand this y value. So before that we can substitute this alpha of 0 values. So as we mentioned earlier alpha 0 is square root of 1 by 2. Here alpha 0 is square root of 1 by 2. So square root of 1 by 2 into square root of 1 by 2 its value is 1 by 2. So next here if you are going to expand this with respect to 0 now first we can take this value f of x comma 0. So y value is 0 plus f of x comma next value is 1. Do you all understand this one? Then we can expand with respect to this x. So now we can get this value is 1 by 2 multiplied with now we can use x is equal to 0 first f of 0 comma 0 so next here it is also 0 now f of 0 comma 1 then we can use 
1. So f of 1 comma 0 plus f of 1 comma 1. For this c of 0 comma 0, the first coefficient, very simple concept. We are going to add all these values and divide by 2. That is very simple. Okay. So simply we are going to add this value. 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 divided by 2. We can get the answer as 8. Do you all understand this concept? Next we are going to find out the second value c of 0 comma 1. So here u value is 0, v value is 1. So we can substitute these values in the formula. Okay. So we are going to take the c of 0 comma 1 as alpha of 0. So here u value is 0, v value is 1. Summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Summation y is equal to 0 to 1 f of x comma y cos of 2x plus 1 here it is u into pi correct so here u value is what that is equal to 0 the entire term becomes 0 so cos 0 value is 1 so next cos value is 2y plus 1 into b into pi so here v value is what 1 so we can get 2y plus 1 into pi divided by 4 so in the next step we are going to substitute this alpha values. So alpha 0 value is 1 by square root 2. Alpha of 1 value is what? Square root of 2 by n. So here 2 by n value is 2. So 2, 2 divided we can get square root of 1 the same value. Okay square root of 1 is equal to 1 itself. So next summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Summation y is equal to 0 to 1. Here we can get f of x comma y cos of 2y plus 1 pi by 4. Next, we are going to expand this summation for this y value. Then we can get 1 by square root 2 summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Okay. So, first we can put y is equal to 0. Then we can get f of x comma 0 cos of here y value is 0 now 0 plus 1 into pi by 4 plus next we can put y is equal to 1 term. So, it starts from 0 to 1 right. So, here we can say f of x comma 1 cos of 2 into 1. Correct. So 2y right. So 2 into 1 plus 1 pi by 4. Do you all understand this one? So now this term is cos pi by 4. Correct. What about this term? Cos 3 pi by 4. Okay. So next we are going to expand this x summation. For that first we are going to substitute x is equal to 0 in both the terms. Okay. And then we can substitute this value as 1. Okay. Then we can get 1 by square root 2 f of 0 comma 0 cos pi by 4 plus f of 0 comma 1 cos 3 pi by 4 plus f of 1 comma 0 because of this one value. So 1 comma 0 cos pi by 4 plus f of 1 comma 1 cos 3 pi by 4. So here cos pi by 4 value is 1 by square root 2. Simply we can say 0.707 values you should all remember or you can use calculator. Okay, you can take the calculator and take this value cos pi by 4 you can get this value 0.707. So similarly we can get cos 3 pi by 4 cos 3 pi by 4 value is minus 0.707. Okay, then we can substitute this values f of 0 comma 0 value is 2 f of 0 comma 1 value is 6. Similarly here f of 1 comma 0 value is 4 f of 1 comma 1 value is 4. So substitute these values and simplify it. We can get the second value c of 0 comma 1 is equal to minus 1.999. That can be approximated as minus 2. So we have obtained the second value as minus 2. Third value that is c of 1 comma 0. Okay. So here we can consider u is equal to 1, b is equal to 0. So substitute that value in this formula. c of 1 comma 0 is equal to here alpha of u, u value is 1, alpha of v, v value is 0. Correct? Summation x is equal to 0 to 1, summation y is equal to 0 to 1, f of x comma y cos of 2x plus 1 u pi. Correct? So here its value is what? u pi. u value is what? 1. Okay, so 2x plus 1 into pi, okay, divided by 2 into n, n value is 2. So 2 into 2, 4. Okay, that is multiplied with cos of 2y plus 1 v into pi. v value is 0 here. So, simply put 0, the whole term becomes 0. So, cos 0 value is 1. So, in the next step, we can substitute this alpha value here. Alpha of 1 value is what? Square root of 
2 by n. So here n value is also 2. So 2, 2 divided we can get its value is 1. Correct. So next alpha of 0 value is square root of 1 by 2. Sum x is equal to 0 to 1. Summation y is equal to 0 to 1. f of x comma y cos of here it is 2x plus 1 into pi by 4. This value is 1. Okay. So next we are going to expand with respect to y first and then x. Okay. So we can take this value as square root of 1 by 2. Summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Take this y value as 0 first and then 1. So first y is equal to 0 now. f of x comma 0 cos 2x plus 1 pi by 4 as it is. Because x value is not expanded right now. So next plus f of x comma 1. So here y is equal to what? 1. Cos 2x plus 1 pi by 4. So next we are going to expand with respect to x is equal to 0 to 1. So square root of 1 by 2. Here we can take this x value as 0 first and then take this value as 1. So we can get 0 comma 0. Here it is 0. First we are putting 0 on a here 2 into 0 0 plus 1. The whole term is 1. So 1 by pi 4. Correct. So cos pi pi 4 plus f of here 0 comma 1 cos of here 0 on a pi by 4. So next we can use 1. So f of 1 comma 0 here this x is 1. So 2 plus 1 pi by 4 that is 3 pi by 4. Similarly here x is equal to 1 now we can get 2x plus 1 here it is 2 plus 1 3 by by 4. Do you all understand this one? So step by step you can solve this one and then you can substitute those values here this value is 2 this value is 6 here it is 4 here it is 4. Similarly cos pi by 4 value is 0.707 here it is 0.707 cos 3 by by 4 value is minus 0.707 here it is minus 0.707. Substitute all those values and simplify it using calculator. We can get that is equal to 0. What about the third value? C of 1 comma 0 value is 0. Last one is C of 1 comma 1. So here we can simply put u is equal to 1, v is equal to 1. Substitute this values in the formula. So C of 1 comma 1 is equal to alpha u that u value is 1. So alpha of 1. Here alpha v is alpha of 1. Summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Uh, summation y is equal to 0 to 1. f of x comma y cos 2x plus 1. Here u value is 1. Here v value is 1. So we can have this two values together here in the next step. So next step we can simply substitute this alpha values. Alpha 1 value is what? Square root of 2 by n. So here we can get square root of 2 by 2. That's value is 1. Here it is also 1. So we can simply get that value as 1. Summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Summation y is equal to 0 to 1. f of x comma y cos of 2x plus 1 pi by 4 into cos 2y plus 1 by by 4. So we can have these two values in the last element. Then we can expand it using this summation y. So first we can simply put this y value as 0. Then we can put y value as 1. So first y is equal to 0 now we can get f of x comma 0 cos 2x values as it is multiplied with here y value is 0. So then we can get cos pi by 4. 0 plus 1 its value is 1. So cos pi by 4 okay. So next we can simply put y is equal to 1. So here we can have plus f of x comma 1 cos 2x plus 1 pi by 4 as it is. Then this y value is 1 now. So 2 into 1 plus 1 that value is 3 by by 4. So here we can get 3 by by 4. Here we can get cos pi by 4. So 1 cos value is okay. So next we are going to expand this x summation value. So here x is equal to 0 for both the terms. Then x is equal to 1 for these two terms. Okay. So f of 0 comma 0 cos here it is 0 in the initial state. So we can get cos pi by 4. Already 1 cos pi by 4 is there. Plus f of 0 comma 1 cos. Here it is 0 na cos pi by 4. Cos 3 by by 4. X is equal to 1. So here we can get f of 1 comma 0. This term becomes 3 by by 4. So cos 3 by by 4. Cos by by 4. Plus f of 1 comma 1. Here it is cos 3 by by 4. Cos 3 by by 4. 
then we can substitute all the values here this value is 2 6 here it is 4 here it is 4 so this one is 0 0.707 here it is 0 0.707 as it is here it is 0 0.707 cos 3 by by 4 na points minus 0 0.707 so we can simply substitute all these values and simplify it and we can get the output as minus 2 so c of 1 comma 1 is equal to what minus 2 so now we have obtained the c of u comma v that is the forward dct output this is what forward dct output value that is equal to what we can write c of 0 comma 0 value first c of 0 comma 1 and then 1 comma 0 here here it is 1 comma 1 so what is 0 comma 0 value that is first value 8 next minus 2 then 1 comma 0 is 0 and 1 comma 1 is minus 2 so this is the answer okay 8 minus 2 0 minus 2 next the same problem we are going to solve using kernel method so this kernel method is very easy within four steps we can get that output okay the formula method is little bit complex one so compute two dimensional discrete cosine transform for the given image 2644 the same image segment we are taking here but here we are going to use kernel method so the formula of the kernel method is here c matrix that is the transform matrix is equal to kernel matrix multiplied with the given image matrix that is multiplied with kernel transpose matrix okay so that's what given here for 2 by 2 image the kernel matrix is given as 1 by square root 2 1 by square root 2 1 by square root 2 minus 1 by square root 2 so you have to remember this value okay the kernel matrix for 2 by 2 image is what 1 by square root 2 1 by square root 2 1 by square root 2 minus 1 by square root 2 then it is very easy so f matrix sometimes it can be represented as f matrix that is image data or sometimes it can be represented as a matrix okay doesn't matter that is the image value so we are going to use this formula okay so this is what given we are going to get the discrete cosine transform using this kernel method so first we can write this kernel value and then image matrix and then its transpose matrix for this 2 by 2 cross even though we are taking this transpose we can get the same value correct transpose means what the row becomes column column becomes row but for this 2 by 2 both are same okay if you are going to change this thing again we can get the same one okay so next we are going to do the matrix multiplication very simple one so first we are going to do this matrix multiplication between these two matrix how do we perform this matrix multiplication we can take this row and take this column so that is what the first column okay that is what the first one okay so 0 0.707 multiplied with this 2 plus 0 0.707 multiplied with this 4 so the next one is 0 0.707 multiplied with this 6 plus 0 0.707 multiplied with this 4 similarly we can get it for this second row okay for this first column and then second column then we can simplify it we can get that value as 4.242 7.07 minus 1.414 1.414 here we can take this matrix as such okay so next we can do this matrix multiplication between these two matrices then we can get the output as 7.9975 here it is minus 1.9990 minus 1.999. We can approximate these values. Then we can get this is nothing but 8. This is nothing but minus 2. This is nothing but minus 2. Finally, we can get the same output with only 4 steps. Okay. By taking the kernel operation. Do you all understand this one? In exam, based on the question, you can solve it in either by formula method or kernel method both are giving the same output okay